This is a presentation showing PressSign 10's features for G7 certification. My name is Phil Binks from Bodoni North America. PressSign is made by Bodoni Systems in the UK and G7 is a registered trademark of ID Alliance. ID Alliance are a USA based graphics communications organization. They are responsible for all G7 certification and many print and graphics standards adhered to both in North America and worldwide. You can get more G7 information at the link shown on this slide. There are G7 certification levels, one of which is grayscale, the other is targeted, and the third color space. The graphic on this shows which areas each of the certification levels covers. Very briefly, G7 is the definition of how grayscale should look when printed using a CMYK based printing device. G7 methodology can be applied to almost all CMYK color printing devices and G7 is used and implicit in all CRPC profiles as well as Grackle and Swap version profiles. These ICC profiles can be downloaded from the link at the bottom of this slide. G7's target of a shared visual appearance relies on achieving the same grey balance and neutral tonality. Across a range of different printing devices, your prints will visually match. The ISO method relies upon curve correction using predetermined curve shapes. The G7 method uses the grayscale patches compared to the black ramp to define the tonality and the neutrality of the grayscale print. We still use curves to achieve this result. PressSign has been certified by ID Alliance as a G7 Press system, which means that it is certified as providing G7 compatible curves. PressSign can be used for both production and certification printing. PressSign is ideal for print production to all G7 based standards, with either single line or full width colour bars and multi line charts. PressSign offers new tolerance presets within the target standard area of the software so that you can easily and quickly apply the correct tolerances to your printing standard. To navigate to the relevant section in PressSign software, you need to go to the Job Settings button, which is usually positioned in the top right of the window. From there, you click on the Target Standard, either the Edit button with the three dots. This will then take you to a new intermediate window where you once again click Edit. This will then open up the Target Standard window for you. From there at the top you have two tabs, one shows the target which displays all of the target colours for your particular standard. The other tab at the top is the tolerances tab which is where we now need to go. In the tolerances window there is a drop down in which you will be able to see the brand new G7 certification tolerances.
using a particular version of press sign you might find that the CMYK primaries option is ticked as in this window you need to deselect this to ensure the correct values are applied to all of the color standards here are the G7 grayscale tolerance certification values The P2P51 chart is used for all G7 grayscale and color target assessments and needs to be included on any certification print run. The patches used for grayscale assessment are here in rows 4 and 5. They can be measured on their own and allow you to achieve a grayscale assessment within PressSign. PressSign's neutral print density curve features are shown here in the summary window. The NPDC window shows a full screen version of all of the relevant graphs for the neutral print density curve. In order to understand the G7 NPDC curves, we'll take a small section of the balance ramp shown here and the AB graph just below. The grey balance wedge that you see here shows clearly that the measured grey balance is not a match to the target. The chart below is the AB graph used in NPDC assessment. Going straight along from east to west is a zero line which is the neutral target line which is then flanked by a blue line which represents the B side of the LAB color space and a magenta A line which is the A of the LAB color space. If we plot the positions from 50% we can see that these lead to the particular color on the grey balanced measured chart. The idea is to generate correction curves which will bring both the blue and the magenta lines representing A and B as close as possible to the neutral target line. Here is Press Sign's neutral print density curve window showing a G7 grayscale certification using the pass-fail target standard. Here is that very same window and target standard, except this time we have used press sign to generate correction curves which have resulted in a pass. Here we are showing the G7 targeted tolerances and again remember to deselect the CMYK primaries button if it is selected once you have selected the preset tolerance. This is Press Sign's summary window following the full measurement of a P2P 51 chart. This would be typically used for G7 grayscale and color targeted assessment. Here we see that very same slide but using Press Signs G7 targeted pass fail standard. 
Scoring anything less than 100 will mean a fail using this standard. Finally, we see the G7 color space tolerances for both proof and press certification. These are mimicked exactly in the tolerances LAB tab window. The new tolerance standards are typically designed to be used for G7 certification preparation. However, PressSign is a perfect match for printing to all G7 standards, offering neutral print density curve output from the export curves function. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions regarding G7 functionality within PressSign, please contact me at the website address shown below.